next one now. Let's start talking about adding up the terms in a geometric sequence. Uh, any of you guys remember where I go for this? If I want to evaluate that sigma. How many variables are there, first of all? How many variables are in that sigma? One. So that means I'm allowed to use the calculator. If I had two variables, I'd have to do it out by hand. Since it has one, I can do use the calculator. Where do I go on the calculator? Alpha window. Yep. So go ahead. Alpha window. All right. Number two, you can plug in your variables. You do not have to use n if you don't want to. You can use x, but I picked this one in particular. Take a look. So I'll, I'll use x. x equals 1, 2, what are we going up to? 12. Okay, everyone take a look here because this is a huge common mistake that's made. And it's easy to make this mistake. Everyone see the parenthesis you were given? The entire function, guys, the entire thing here needs to go in that parenthesis. Do not put anything outside, all right? So this entire function here, 3 times 2 to the n minus 1, has to go in that given parenthesis. So it should look like something like 3. Now put in your own parenthesis. Don't put it on the outside. 2 to the x minus 1. Do you see how I fit everything inside that one parenthesis that was given? Because if not, your calculator is not going to have the correct answer for you. So make sure everybody is getting, boom, 12,285. Do we see that in case that comes up Friday? That if you're allowed to use your calculator, make sure the function is in the entire parenthesis. So 12,285, all right? <sighs> Questions, comments, concerns here, we all good? Put it all in the one parenthesis. All right, let's get crazy now. All right, now I'm going to add up the terms now. Add up the terms in a geometric sequence. All right, so add up all the terms in a geometric sequence. Find the sum of the geometric series. Go to your formula sheet right now. I know I have it in your packet, but Friday you're not going to have your packet on you. Do you see the formula for geometric series? Again, series tells me what, guys? I'm going to do what in the problem? Add up all the terms. All right, so that tells me, all right, series, you got it? So I take my formula right off the formula sheet, a subscript 1 minus a subscript 1, r to the n, all over 1 minus r. Now I just got to know what to plug in where. We okay why this formula, other than it's at the top of the page? Geometric series right off the formula sheet. All right, need some help. Let's go. Who's got four? Isabella, you ready? You're going to plug in everything for me. What's my n value here? 10. And just to, hey, what that 10 represents, you're going to add up the first 10 terms. That's what you're doing. In this sequence, if I had you write it out, you're going to add up the first 10 terms. That's what that n value means. Add up the first 10 terms. Isabella, keep rolling. First term is 2 minus first term 2. What about my r value? 3. n value was? 10 over 1 minus 3, R value. There you go. Please, I'm begging, put it all in one fraction template in your calculator. Please do not try to do this piece by piece. All right, all in one. All in one. Okay. So all 10 terms would add up to 59,048. Yep, 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 yep. Whew. Any questions there using that formula? How you doing back there? Plugging that in there, big dog, you right? One job. One job. Do you get it, Vinny? Yeah. Of course you are. You're Hollywood. Why wouldn't you? Okay, everyone ready for three? 
Did you see the final cut or are you just, <laughs> and you approved it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Like okay. You got it. There's just so many questions I'm going to have. So it's fine. No big deal. Uh, who's got 14? All right. Look at that. See? Okay. You ready? First thing, because on Friday, I'm going to give you a sequence and you're going to have no, you're, well, you will have an idea, but I'm not going to come out and say, hey guys, this is geometric. It's arithmetic. Vinny, take a look at the sequence I have here. Three, negative 12, 48, negative 192. What type of sequence is that? Geometric, and it's asking me for the sum. Geometric sum, I go to my reference sheet and I look for the, which one? Sequence or series formula? Series, because I'm adding them up, the sum. So take the formula. What is it? I need a formula sheet. There we go. Are we okay why I'm choosing that formula other than it's the topic of the day? Are we okay on Vinny identified it as geometric. It said sum, so I need the series formula. All right, you ready, Vinny? How many terms am I adding up? Not what's showing, just go read the problem here. How many terms? Eight, so that's my what value now? The end value. I'm adding up the first eight terms. So adding up. The first eight terms. Here you go, Vinny. First term. Three minus three. Okay. Be there now. What am I multiplying by? Nice. Everyone here. One more time. Negative four. Because, hey, here are the terms, guys. Three, negative 12, positive 48, negative 192. Those are your terms that you're going to start adding. Everyone see why it's negative four. Now, hey. You have maybe Friday, you sit there and you have no idea. Remember the trick I gave you yesterday, finding the R value. What was the trick I gave? You have absolutely no idea what the R value is. What can you still do though? Trick? Annika? Go ahead, pick any term. 48 and you divide it by the previous term. That will always give you the R value. Nice job. Vinny, back to you. N value over one minus, ooh, watch yourself there. Yeah, one minus negative four, getting a little fresh there, good. All right, one minus negative four, yes, it'll become plus four. Okay, go ahead, find the sum, and hopefully it's one of those multiple choices. Questions from you guys going? Not too bad so far? <laughs> All right, here we go now. Usually the first two are like, oh, this is easy. Plug and chug. I'm ready to roll. Sure you are. Here we go. Five or four. I don't think there's any guessing here. Find the sum of the geometric series. It's telling you, hey, look at your darn reference sheet where it says geometric series. We're going to run into a problem here. So let me get the formula down. All right, I'm going to need a big timer for this one. I'm going to need a big timer. 14? Oh, don't. I'm not going to let you do two in a row here. Don't worry. How about five? Oh, you ready for this? A little more confidence would help, but thanks. Okay, you ready? What's my n value here? What is it? Oh, that stinks. Yeah, we're going to have to find it. Son of a gun. All right. Well, what am I giving, Ethan? What's uh, 2,000 represent? First term, right? Everyone agrees that's the first term? And then I'm giving this 125, which is some other term in the sequence. I don't know where in the sequence it is, but it's somewhere. And our job, the end value is going to be, what term is this? Is it the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh? Because whatever term it is, that's our missing n value. Is there any way I can use the information up here to find what term 125 is? Ethan, what type of sequence is this? It's geometric, which means I multiply or add. Multiply, 
What do I have to multiply by in this case? One half. Everyone see that? Could you find the second term? How? 2,000 times a half? Go ahead. Oh, 1,000. Could you find the third term? Multiply by a half. It's going to be? Oh, so I could keep doing this until I hit what? 125. Does everyone see that? Because I know it's geometric and I'm multiplying by a half, I'll keep doing this and it won't be too long until I hit 125. So the next one's going to be what? 250, and then I'll hit the 125. So what term is 125, Ethan? Fifth term. Everyone see that? Fifth term. So there's my end value. So the sum of the first five terms, Ethan, first term, 2,000 minus 2,000, R value, and our N value we just found was 5 over 1 minus 1 half. There you go, guys. Okay, so yes, we were missing the N value, but no big deal. I can find out what term 125 is. And on Friday, if you just wanted to add all those up and not plug it into the formula, I don't care. All right, you're not going to get credit off because you did it a different way. All right, you're not going to get credit off because you did it a different way. If you don't want to use the formula and you rather just go 2,000 plus 1,000 plus 500 plus 250 plus 125, go ahead. That's fine with me. All right, just watch your time if you're going to do that for all the problems. Okay, any questions right now before we get to the word problems? All right, here you go. You guys can read through that one. I won't read it to you. You can read through it. Hi, Megan. But n not for SN, no, because SN is the sum. And 125 is a term. What you could do is you could go to the other formula for geometric, plug the 125 in for a sub n there, and solve for n. Okay? All right. Sometimes, don't use a formula. Just get, just get after it and figure it out. I am not going to use a formula for this. Because the formula is going to take us about five, ten, five to six minutes to plug in. What do I get for this value? We're looking for how many total games were played. Ready? First round, how many games were played? 16, right? 16, 32 teams, 16 games. All right. How many were played in the next round? How many? Okay. Can you do this without a formula? How many in the next round? Next round? Championship game. Why? I, don't, I just don't feel like, why do I need a sum formula to do all this? All right, you can just add it up right now, right? You got your geometric sequence. And then how many total games were played? So I'm just trying to show you, you don't, you don't need the formula every time, okay? That was pretty easy, just writing them out, how many games, and adding them up, okay? So don't psych yourself out. Just watch your time, though. All right, first of all, question one on, the neck, on this first part here. Uh, do we need pendulum? Heard of that? Yes, no? Because I did have some in period three that haven't heard of it. Clock pendulum, we good? Somebody said they had one at their grandmother's house. I was like, all right, that's cute. Okay, thanks for the update. All right, so everyone see pendulum? Good? All right. 
Swings through an arc of 20 inches, got it. The length of each one is gonna be 95% of the previous swing. After 10 swings, total, total distance. So sum, total, total. What's the sum of all the distances? Try to write a couple terms out right now of this sequence. Don't just bust out a formula you think is right and go. Try to, I love looking at the sequence first before I try plugging it into a formula. So the first swing we know is what? 20 inches, so there's the first swing. How can we find out how long it's gonna go for the next swing? It's 95%, so what do we wanna do here? How do you find the second term there? Oh, don't have one, oh, don't have one. Oh, 15? Go ahead, Emma, go ahead. 20 times 0.95 will tell me it's gonna swing a total of how many inches for the second go around? 19, I always like to look at three numbers just to get a sense of the sequence. And on the third swing, it's gonna go. Eighteen point zero five inches, and then keep going like that. Now, could you do all ten? Sure, you could. All right, I think that's a for me. It's a little too much. Unlike the games up here, it was only a couple rounds. So let's try to use the sum formula: geometric or arithmetic. What did you guys keep just do in your calculator to get these numbers? Excuse me. You multiplied, correct? So this is. Geometric, all right, so get the sum for geometric. Arithmetic, yep, that's what I'm dealing with for the next 35 weeks. Here is where I'm gonna catch everybody. What's your N value here? Meaning how many terms am I adding up? How many terms am I going to end up adding up? If I wrote all the terms out, how many? Well, it went 20 on the first swing, right? And then we're doing 10 additional ones. So that 20 plus 10 additional ones. A total of how many terms? 11. Do we see why 11 and not 10? Because that killed people third period. You, got, you swung 20 inches, and then you're going to do 10 more. All right, so 20 plus those 10 more, give me yes. 11 terms. All right, let's go. Need a little more help here. Who's got five again? Okay, Ethan. Uh, actually, I'm done hearing from you, Ethan. No offense. Here for some newbies. 11. Reagan, ready to roll? What's your first term? 20 minus 20 times, what's my R value? Nice job, 0.95, and you're raising that to the 11, and on the bottom, one minus 0.95. This will not be a clean decimal, so write it all out for me. Unless it has rounding directions, which this does not, we're gonna write it all out. About 172.5 inches. Before we get, to, how long did it take you to make it? Three days. Well, we did like Three <laughs> days. I would have thought half a period. <laughs> I think I know the answer to this already, but did you edit it at all? Or anybody edit it, that thing? Or was that just, like, took a look at it and said, maybe we want to cut out this part or this part? Um, well, there was originally, like, blood splattering and her leg, but they decided to get rid of that. Oh, they decided to get rid of that part yeah. and not the rest of it. Um, okay. No, it right. Okay. It was still awful. Um, <laughs> Jack Damon, I was the first 
That's an interesting character too. Yeah, that kind of, I'm starting to put the pieces together why it was so interesting. Yep. Sits right there where those ladies are sitting now. Yep. Is that the, uh, which one is that? The black hair or the orange one? Because I got, I got two goof troops right there and that's, they're both, one's Jack, one's John. I don't, yeah, no, the darker haired one. So the one that keeps stuff in his face with the sub while I'm trying to teach third period. And then I call, and then he gets and his number pops up and it's like I gotta wait five minutes before he digests the thing, and it's third period. What? Yeah, I noticed that on his test. So, okay, so you guys work together. Are there any more coming out that I can be? Okay. Okay. Questions on this? Okay, because now I'm just dropping the pen and letting you take over. But before I do, I want to make sure, because I just let third period go at this. I didn't say a word, and it was just total disaster. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit more direction. You got seven and eight to do on your own or in your group. First thing you have to do for me, determine if it's arithmetic or geometric. Okay, that's the first thing. From there, it says, look at the directions. Evaluate the finite series, which means what formula should you be getting out? The sum formulas, right? You should be using the sum formulas for both of these. And for how many terms for number seven are you going to add up? Eight terms. And for how many terms are you going to add up for number eight? Ten terms. So please make sure you're using the correct sum formula for both after you determine if it's arithmetic or geometric. Please let me see your answers before you go on to the assignment. So go ahead. You can work with whoever, but I need to 